Hey, what is going on, Aldino Nation? It's your boy, Aldino Prime, back out again with another Transformers Earthrise review. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers er Earthrise War for Cybertron trilogy Commander Class Skylinks. So there they are, and well, let's take a look at the packaging first. Right out front, we got a big, humongous picture of both modes of Skylinks battling some Decepticons in space. Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy, Hasbro logo, Transformers logo, Generations logo, Takar Tomy logo. And then on the side, some more artwork that combines with this artwork. It's kind of on the side. He is a Commander class. Okay. And on the back, you got all the product shots. Right there, he's got four modes. Pretty cool. On the side of the box, we got that Earthrise design. There we go. The Earthrise artwork. There we go. And that's it for the packaging. We got the instruction booklet, of course. And now let's get right into this review. This guy. Here we got Skylinks in both his vehicle modes. And they honestly are phenomenal looking. Like, they're really good. Honestly, they're really good. Especially on the uh, space mode. They got NASA to sponsor this. Very nice detail with the white, the dark gunmetal gray, the gold. Very little robot kibble on this one. And on the bottom, we got some wheels that actually do fold in and out. Very nice energy engineering on Hasbro and Takara's and putting in and they roll too. Very nice detail on that. And the other mode. Take a look. Very nice. Very authentic to the original Skylinks from the 80s. It's got some rolling wheels on the bottom. They roll very well. Very nice. And yeah, that's basically it for their um, vehicle modes. So let's look at their accessories. They both come with a bunch of these blaster parts. Blaster effects parts that you can give to any figure that has them. You got the orange. And then he also comes with these two blasters. They both come with that. And let's take a look at his combined mode and vehicle mode first. So what you want to do is on Sky, you want to take this little tab. You know, on Links, you want to line it up with this. And then this front tab, line it up with that. Get it all nice tight and in. There you go, you got the combined rocket mode, and looks good, looks good, Lo looks very, very good, looks like the vintage G1, very nice, like I said before, I really am glad they got NASA to kind of sponsor this toy, really nice detail, adds a little bit more modern, real life effect to the toy, really nice, really nice detail on that. Still rolls pretty good. It's got a nice weight to it. It is a big figure. They are big figures. They really got a nice weight to them. Very nice. And you can plug these side guns in on either of these pegs right here. They just peg in. Inside, you know, you can have peep. You can shoot some Decepticons. You know. But yeah, very nice detail on these modes. Very nice. I'm so glad that they got NASA to sponsor this spaceship mode. It's, it's very, very good, in my opinion. Very nice. It is a wonderful, wonderful mode. And now let's get into the base mode of the figure. First thing you want to do, take this, swing them around. These are all on ratchet joints. Pull these out like that. Untap them, pull them out like that. 
Then you want to take these, pull them out to the side, take these, kind of fold them back like that, take them like that, keep these, fold it out, sometimes they want to snap back in, turn it around, take these, that, fold these up, like that. You want to do the same on the other side with this one. Very nicely. This helps keep it steady. Very nice. Like that. Turn this around. Keep it steady. Keep it like that. And for this one, you want to turn it like that. Pull these up like that. Pull these rants out, like that, pull them out, boom, and let's get working on this guy, really there's not much to like transform on this guy, really you just pull this part out, like that, it's beautiful gold detail, and on this guy, there are tabs right here, I'm gonna pull this out first. Plug this in. There's three right here. And then you wanna take this, and there's a little tab right here that kind of locks everything to place. Locks everything into place on this mode. And it's kind of flimsy, but you know what? It works. There we go. Got that. You want to take these. Doesn't matter how you want to pose them. Do it like that or sideways. I like to keep them like this. There you go. Is that? All right. There we go, and there we got Sky and Links in his base mode. This guy is getting humongous. We might have to move this back a little bit. So there is his base mode. It is phenomenal, amazing. The ingenuity, the engineering and ingenuity of this figure is a phenomenal. I was really shocked that they were able to incorporate a base mode in this figure because. You know, he's a triple changer now. They were able to engineer a base mode into him, which is really cool. Really, really amazing. These, really, you can just plug them anywhere in there. The base mode. The only thing I don't really like about this base mode is that this is, like, the only thing holding this together, like, steady. Without this, the rocket mode would kind of wobble everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah. That, oh, there's one more step I forgot. We gotta pull these out. To help with keeping it steady. Yeah. Mine is kind of wobbly a little bit, but that is not really that much of a big deal to me. But otherwise, it's actually really cool that how they were able to engineer a base mode into him. Like, it's amazing. It's like, kind of like, it's kind of like Omega Supreme with the rocket going up. It's kind of like that. They're loading into the rocket. It's kind of like that. But that's it for his base mode. Let's get into his two separate animal modes. Now. Alright. Close those up. Let's have this. Put this off to the side. We'll work on him in a few minutes. Pick up the blaster effect. There we go. Alright. Let's fold these up. Fold these kind of like rails up. Fold them up. Like that. Boom. Put those back. Pull these back. Actually take these off. Take them off the feet. Fold these back these out these are going to be the tails of the beast mode actually 
actually, let's not do the head right now. Fold these over, turn these to the side. Those are going to be its feet. Fold these down. Do that. Go. Turn these around. There's that. Go, do that on the same side. Now, you want to take this piece on the bottom, fold it out, fold the head out. There we go. We got the bottom half beast mode done. There's that. There we go. Now, let's work on this. Close this up. Take these wings. You're going to form them like that. Same on the other side. These could really get tight. Go. Then you're going to want to take these. Fold them out like that. Take them, fold them out like that. That creates the wings. Go underneath. Pull these out. Pull the claws out. Like that. There we go. There's that. Same on the other side. There we go. And then for the tail, you're going to want to pull this out. Pull it to the side. Pull the tail out like that. Pull it down. Put that back in. For the head, it's on this. Pull that out. Angle that however you want. Open the mouth. Boom. There we go. We got the top part done. Angle these however you want. Alright. Go. Tail up. Okay. Kind of want to angle these feet however you want. There we go, and now we got them both in their two separate modes. They look really good, look like the Vintage G1. Very nice detail. The paint applications are amazing on these figures. Take a look at the bottom. Lion part or cat part. Got opening mouth. Got a turn right there. Look down that far, but that's just due to transformation. Got a twist right there. Can almost see a 360 same on the back too and that is basically the articulation for him so now let's take a look at this guy very nice nice detail but these wings do tend to fall over because of due to the weight so kind of angle them how you please But very nice head sculpt, very detailed tail. No, he's got a bend right here, bend right here. There we go. There's that. He got movement in his neck. All those are on that ball joint at the head. Look up that far. You can look side to side like that. Go, and that's big. the tail. Also the same can move 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 like that there we go and yeah basically that is it for their two separate modes now let's get into combining them so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to fold these back up into the top part you know fold them want to fold them back up into the top part like that Like that, boom. With the tail, mine just broke off. Snap this back into place. There we go. You want to fold this back in. Actually, 
Now you actually leave the tail out. Go. And that's him ready for combine mode. And next, we're going to want to take this. Really just simple. Fold the head in. Fold these back in. And it's like before. Go. Ready for combine mode. We want to take these. Kind of want to get it in there so this back part locks into place. Mine doesn't want to lock in. There we go. Locked in secure. Get that in. There we go. Boom. Bam. Bada boom. Bow. Pow. There we go. We got Skylinks in the combined mode. There he is. Earthrise Skylinks in combined mode. And oh my goodness, this is phenomenal. Very nice detail, very amazing. Really, honestly, it's beautiful, beautiful display piece. You can plug these side guns in like that. There we go. You can take these blast effect parts, kind of make a little blast part for Skylink's mouth. Got a little tab in there. Kind of just plug it in. Boom. Looks like he's shooting fire out of his mouth. That's cool. Very nice detail. Same articulation that I showed before. Ball joint at the head. He can look oh side side up down. Same articulation. It's an amazing piece to any Earthrise or Transformers collection. Very nice. I very much recommend this. You got some extra parts. So now let's get into his uh, comparison. Let's get into comparisons with this guy. Alright. Here is Skylinks next to Earthrise Prime. And you can see how they stack up together. And that is basically the size for the Voyagers. Here he is next to Deluxe Hoist. Let's get him. Standing tall. There we go. See how they look together. And let's see how he looks next to Starscream from the Earthrise series. Let me get him real quick. There you go. They look, they're about the same size as Prime. And here he is next to Earthrise Grapple. About the same size as the other ones and yeah that is basically it for the review so the, once again this is the transformers earthrise war for cybertron trilogy commander class skylinks thank you all so much for watching please if you like this video hit the like button and then always make sure to to subscribe down there to the Aldino Nation to don't miss out on any Lego, Star Wars, Transformers related content. So take care you guys. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.